All right, as promised, what are we doing, Dante? We're doing an autopsy. On what? What's your first victim? Mutton snapper. Well, not victim. This is actually science. Your first science, scientific autopsy of this mutton snapper, this 15-pound mutton snapper, we need to see what he's been eating. So have at it, Dante. Let your knife do the work. Stick it in and, and let it slide back and forth. Harder. Go ahead, get that baby open, buddy. All the way down, go, doodle. All right, let me just get that stomach out for Dante. Oh, as big as the snapper is, I think he was hungry. Feels like an empty stomach. Nothing too serious. There we go, stomach's cut out. Now it's your job, you gotta squeeze everything out of there. Empty. Oh, there's something. Hey. Oh, yeah. Now right, let's keep going. Keep squeezing. Squeeze it out like toothpaste. Go. Doodle. Squeeze. Squeeze. Man, he was hungry. Empty stomach. Another crab. So big 15 pound mutton snapper and only a crab leg. A beautiful little bonnet head that we will be using for shark bait. Go ahead, have at it, Dante. Autopsy number two. Go. Remember, let your knife do your work. Oh, what did he have in his stomach? Look, it's already popped open. What is this? Is this a pinfish? No, that's a that's a mullet plug, what I was using for bait. A mullet? Check out, pull out the rest of his stomach. What is that? Is that seaweed? What is this? Pull it up. Let's check it out. Yeah, seaweed. Like seaweed. Seaweed. He was eating seaweed. What else is that? Come on, you gotta get in there, buddy. You wanna be a scientist, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, jig head. Somebody's white jig head. Look, it's all rusted. Look. This proves our point that you're gonna see in the, the other videos. It's better to cut your line when your fish is gut hooked than to try to pull a hook out because they just digest these things. Look, this guy digested a whole white jig head. Keep looking, anything else cool in there? I don't know. All right, on to the next one. Autopsy number three, mutton snapper. Pull that stomach out, Dante. Hopefully this mutton has a cooler stomach. Pull that pouch out. Okay. And slice it on the other end. Free it up. Go. Make sure. You're cutting towards me, Dante. Cut away from me. There you go. Away from me. There you go. You got it free. All right. That's your stomach pouch. Dissect it, buddy. Always cut away from yourself. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. It looks like there's something cooler inside. Squeeze it out. Put it over here where they can see. You're around all the guts there. All right. Let me get towards you. How about that? What's that? What the? Oh, that's a fish. Let me see. What's that? What's yeah, that looks like an eel. Oh boy, what kind of fish is that? Cool, autopsy. Look at this. Look at this prehistoric fish. What is it? It looks like a little cuda. Look at his beak. What the heck is that? Open up the beak. What is it? Is that a big crab? Maybe it's a crab claw. What kind no. of fish is that? I think I see like an eye. Is it looks like an, a dinosaur creature. Look at that! Have you guys ever seen anything like that? If anybody recognizes what this creature may be that we found in our autopsy, please let us know. It looks because... like a squid. No, that's his liver. Oh. Or that's his lung. That's his liver. But look at this. This mutton snapper ate a, a prehistoric creature. What is that, Dante? Look at that. I don't know. That Check is... out the, the mouth. This kind of looks like a 
looks like a, I don't know why, but like a bird. It looks like a looks like a, bird. Looks like a bird from like... It looks like a bird from the 16th century. Cool, very cool. On to the next one, buddy. And for our next autopsy, an Atlantic sharp nose. Put it out. There it is. There's the stomach. You see it, right? See this? the stomach pouch? Yep. Oh, he has something too. Here. Uh, I'm gonna cut it for you, right? All right. Pull, pull it hard. Oops. Cutting his liver. There. Put the pouch over there where everybody can see. All right. Pouch is out. Slide out all the good stuff. Atlantic sharp nose. Off top. Oh! mullet chunk that's it nothing else nope. Nope. all right empty couch just a mullet chunk it's probably the bait we use so i did an autopsy on this shark this shark and this mutton snapper and one of the other shark that i found in the woods and what we got was crab legs okay seaweed all right a white jig head rusted out white jig head pretty cool some mullet chunks okay and a prehistoric creature. Maybe one of you guys in the comments can explain to me what this is. What the heck is this, guys? We want to know. I think that mutton snapper ate a baby dinosaur. Something that scientists haven't discovered yet. Maybe it's something very basic and uh, when it's uh, deconstructed, I don't know what it looks like. But for right now, we're going to call it the prehistoric creature. So this autopsy's over. That's sharking with seaweed with Dante Kane. We're out of here. Sharking with seaweed.